Hello everyone and welcome to yet another day in Vera. Happy to be with you guys again. I can't believe that it is the end of July, but we have a fun presentation to show you guys today. An update on the Cleric kit and also a little bit of a showcase for the Highwomen Hills area, which is a very cool point of interest. I am joined by two of our glorious designers whom you have spoken with before in the past. They are our resident Dr. Bucky. Bucky, how you doing, buddy? Good, I'm doing great. Welcome, sir. And then we also have our glorious combat designer, Mr. Trad. How you doing, Trad? Doing great. Happy to be here again. Yeah, happy to have you guys both. So, obviously, clerics are near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. We had uh, a little bit of a showcase for the cleric. Uh, gosh, when was that? Was that that was like was that, that was last year, yeah? Yeah, I think so. A few live streams ago, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was quite a few. And we were in, uh, I think we were in that cemetery area, and we were kind of showcasing some, thing some things. And the community gave us a lot of great feedback. And your guys' team on the combat strike team have now had an opportunity to kind of go through, analyze and collect that feedback, incorporate it as part of our development process, and we have a little bit more extensive of a kit today to show. I think we have eight, roughly 18 abilities, or how many abilities are we showing off today? Uh, yeah, somewhere between 16 to 18 on there. Yeah, wow. it's very, ex big very excited. To, very, big, yeah, big increase gives a, a much more comprehensive look at the, at the core kit for the archetype, which is super exciting. So, before we begin, why don't we perhaps talk a little bit about the area that we are in? And by the way, uh, yes, this is a noble warhorn. He is a he's a big fella. Um, he's excited to get in there. He's heard that there is some uh, some minotaurs that have taken up residence in what used to be, I think, uh, a bandit camp. Look at how oh we don't have sounds associated with them yet. Sorry guys, sound effects. I'll, I'll, <laughs> sound I'll effects do some. Are, okay, perfect. Thank you. Hold on, wait. Sound doesn't right. We gotta anyway. time that. We gotta time that right. Hold on. Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bucky. That was perfect. And that is why you are Doctor Bucky. <laughs> no, but uh, tell us a little bit about a little bit about this place, the uh, the Highwayman Hills. Yeah, so we're venturing into the Highwayman Hills, a place notorious for, you know, bandit activity, you know, always dangerous to run a caravan through here. Even just looking at these, like, walls here, you could see we could get, you know, jumped at any moment. But, um, yeah, so used to be uh, resided by bandits, but now there's a story arc that's been triggered. So the uh, Shattercloud tribe of Minotaur, I've recently seized control of the area, so we're going to be seeing a lot of Minotaur activity now instead. Ah, and that's part of the whole, you know, how story arcs are intended to kind of change the environment, the world. Um, you know, obviously we saw this a little bit with the Tower of Carfin presentation, um, but the spawners are adaptive based on the state of the world, and that state is inclusive of these story arc conditions, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And if we're able to, you know, complete our quest here, we might, might further change as well. This is absolutely beautiful. I can't believe Environment has done a, a tremendously glorious job um, in creating. I love the canopy through the approach into the Highwayman Hill zone. Um, it is super cool. Yeah, it looks great with the God Race coming in. Oh, yeah. You can't have enough God Race. <laughs> <laughs> As Tristan knows. Uh, so do we have a quest for this area or, or what are we seeing here? Ooh, location entered. Okay, so we actually now are in the Highwayman Hills. Perhaps mm -hmm. I should let my uh, my noble warhorn yeah. off here. Might get dangerous. You've, you've been a trusty steed, my friend, but this area is just far too dangerous for your kind. So just hang out here and we'll be back. Um, okay, so I think, you know, what's been relatively successful in the past or the community has enjoyed is when we kind of spend a little bit of time up front uh, going through each of these abilities, describing what they do, and then we can do some gameplay and kind of show off the kit in action. Um, we might want to take a volunteer because I know this is all healing centric for the most part, uh, which means we'll actually act, have to have a target. Bucky, would you like to be that? Target? Sure, yes. Got to do it right okay. here in the shade. Is this good? Oh my god, this is hopefully not a sign of things to come, but there's oh, a corpse no. next to you. I think it might be. Uh, that guy didn't get any heals. <laughs> what happened to this guy? He didn't get any no, heals, dude. man. Who is what happened? This? happened. Oh my god. That's, that looks Only terrible. Only we could poor. Okay, so let's let's start off with this <coughs> with this kit. What is our first ability that we have? 
Uh, which one are you, are you looking at? Mend here? It looks like, yeah, I'm looking at Mend. Okay. It says that it instantly launches a healing projectile toward target ally. Each charge of the ability consumed after the first has no mana cost. Okay, that's nice. And it restores an increasing amount of mana to the caster based on the number of missing charges. Consecutive uses of the ability will gain bonus healing. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about the intent here. This is kind of the um, efficient maintenance heal that you can fall back on if things aren't, you know, hitting the fan too hard. Um, so if you're, you know, if you if your target's not going to, like, not in immediate danger of dying, um, this is a lighter weight heal that is much more efficient on your mana resource. I'll just keep damaging myself oh, yeah. so you can heal me. Yeah. Nice. It's pretty nice and comfortable to use. And see the little floating projectiles. It, it's not great for, like, a super reactive situation because they have that travel time. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know. But you still it, have the opportunity good, to use them. It, yeah. It's more like a predictive heal, right? Like, yeah. when you, you don't need to immediately respond to a bad situation. And just to keep in mind, guys, as of course... As always, this is very necessary for us to say, this is still a work in progress. We are working towards our Alpha 2. You're going to see the state of the UI is not in its final form. Uh, same is true for the visual effects uh, and everything else, right? Everything is always in the in the state of polish and kind of um, refinement, or excuse me, when we get to that state. Um, but that's what you're kind of seeing now. So this this is a pretty useful ability. You're intended to kind of like weave this in between your normal rotation, yeah? Yeah, yeah. so so like uh, one of the reasons this came to be for the kit is um, in the last version of the kit, we felt like, you know, you were kind of swapping between cooldowns because you just used whatever was up, but you didn't really have a comfortable like fallback. And so this one serves as more of a filler activity that's a little more, little more uh, freely usable and more spammable. Um, a lot of healers we played in past games, you know, they have that heal, like that core heal that you can just kind of use back to back. Um, and that one is like filling that role to a degree. Cool. Yeah. Super cool. Sorry, Bucky. Oh, yeah. Say. Between this one and then the next one, Deliverance, um, they're both kind of like your core filler heals that you're constantly like your bread and butter is really. Yep. Awesome. So Deliverance, let's talk a little bit about that. This is, it says a held ability, which means that it's a variable charge value. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I really like this one. I, I'm sure it's, there's something out there, but I've never actually played a healer that had a, um, a, like a casted heal that you could release at variable points of time. And it just, to me, it seems like it fits a uh, heal really well because of its reactive nature. So you can like release it. You can kind of like hold it in, you know, if your targets, you're almost like playing kind of Russian roulette with your target, like you're pushing it to the last second to get the most value. Yeah, it's a really nice like tool to have to be able to like cook the heal basically. If you think the target's going to take some more damage, you get more value out of it. The other cool thing about this one is that um, it scales based on the missing health of the target. So if you cast it on me now when I'm at full health, it'll heal for a lot less than when I'm when I'm pretty low. That's super cool. Whoops. Okay, let's try you super low. So, holding it full length, you go from about 780 to about 1400. And that would have been even more if his health were even lower. So, like he said, Ooh. if you were at like here, one I'll get, health, even, I'll get super low here. Yeah, so you'll you'll see an even bigger. So it scales on two axes basically. It's scaling on both missing right, health. I'm at nine. Yeah, scaling on both missing health and the amount of time you charge it. So there's oh, a lot of huge. Oh, wow, that's, that's cool. Big, big, yeah. I like the Russian roulette aspect of it. I can just imagine the amount of friction that's going to cause in parties when the <laughs> cleric player wants to maximize the efficacy of the heal versus the player recipient that's like, whoa, man. A drama <laughs> between gonna... tanks and healers is what MMOs are all about. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. That's like standard staple uh, interaction. Okay, cool. So that's that's a super cool ability. Talk to me a little bit about Soothing Glow. Uh, this is a bread and butter region spell um you know it's got you have three charges of it um you can either stack them all on one target and it's, they don't stack in healing but they will stack in duration so if you just want like a really long duration heal on your tank or region on your tank then you could do that or you can spread it out for more effective healing per second by having them all tick simultaneously on three different targets so there's a couple different ways to use this super cool i love uh, obviously hots are uh something you try to keep up often so this also yeah. has charges yep three, yep, charges. three charges nice very cool all right i see we have a flash cure talk to me about the flash cure another charge based thing this is actually the last one so it's not like all the 
abilities. Everything, Everything is charges, yeah. charges, they stacks just, on stacks. They just happen to be very front loaded <laughs> here. But um, this is your last charge based ability. Um, this is an instant heal. Uh, the the neat like gimmick about this one is you can use it during other abilities. It's kind of like our version of what you would refer to as an OGCD or an off global cooldown. Um, we we don't actually like have a global cooldown in the game right now, but um, it serves as that kind of thing where. For example, one way I like to use this is if you're charging Deliverance, um, you could even push it a little further by hitting that um, Flash Cure as you're charging up Deliverance, if you want to do that. Now, presumably, though, you wouldn't want to Flash Cure while you're using Deliverance unless That's you're afraid die. that they're going to die. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or you could also okay. just let go of Deliverance and have it just go off right then and there, so you kind of have choices there and whether you want to try to get maximum Deliverance value by throwing in a flash gear or just making sure your target doesn't die cool that's super cool i like i like that kind of oh shit button so to speak right where essentially you know for me as a as a person who's main healer often um <clears throat> it's always a very tense situation when you're waiting for that massive group heal cast time to go off or you know whatever massive burst heal that you're trying to do and, you know, you're puckering up because who knows if they're going to live during that cast time. <laughs> but if you need to, you can always pop a little bit of Flash Cures. Yeah, it's, it's fun it's to use. minute. Yeah. Who are you going to say, Trent? Yeah. I was just saying, it, it's fun to use. It, it's like a nice little emergency tool because, um, you know, a lot of the time, you're, you're as a healer, you're like waiting for that heal to go off. You're like, come on, come on, come on. And sometimes you miss it. It feels a little bad. And this is Absolutely. a way to, this is an answer to that. Yeah, super cool. Okay, next one we have here. The Resplendent Beam. Talk to me about that one. We've seen that, a, a, and we've seen an iteration of that in the past, yep, right? Yeah. yeah, this is a returning one, um, but it's it's seen a little bit of change. Um, before, it was just uh, you popped it, and it would do a chain heal. Now you can use it, like, use it on Bucky. Uh, just hit it, like, tap the button. Just a tap, tap? Yep. Tap, tap a room? Yep, All right. exactly. There you go. And it's, oh. So you can use it as a quick single target heal that way, uh, but you can also charge it so this is another held ability and the longer you charge it the more targets it will bounce between so you'll if, okay. if you do it again um and you hold it you'll see that i should probably set my cooldowns to zero for this portion of the feature mm -hmm. yeah that'd be good but yeah it kind of has Whoops. the uh you can use it just instant cast to get a quick heal off on someone or you can decide to charge it up basically and have it bounce to a bunch of people if so. you charge it all the way it'll, it should bounce between all of us a little triangle so let me yeah. try the, the quick cast again real quick all right, so that's the quick cast, and then I'll charge it up. Nice. Oh, nice. super cool. Okay. I like how I'm just like, with the animation, it's just like, everyone stand back. <laughs> and we're good. <laughs> yeah, animators do some pretty cool work. That's cool. Very nice. Okay, I like the I like the dual purpose nature of that. And obviously, this is a great point of feedback for those of you in the audience who are kind of watching and and taking a look at this class kit. You know, do you like the versatilities on a bespoke basis per ability, where you kind of have alternate types of functionality that's up to the user to determine based on the situation, or do you like more static use cases, right? Uh, something that is very specific and and you have to kind of use it for that situation. Um, that's a great question to get feedback on. Personally, myself, I think that providing the user a bit more flexibility and versatility in the use of these abilities uh, makes for interesting gameplay, um, a lot of agency for the player to kind of uh, move between. Okay, let's move to the next one. Bless Weapon. Talk to me about this one. This is yes. one of my favorites. Uh, this is like basically a utility, uh, a mana utility that you can use on either yourself or um, an ally. So it's kind of like okay. a decision point of, do I want to, you know, sacrifice some of my own mana um, resource management in exchange for helping out an ally? And I, one way I like to use this is I'll, I'll just kind of look at my own mana or someone else's and it's like, oh, the tank's like really low. I'll throw this on them for now and then I'll put it on myself later. Uh, the eventual idea, it's not set up this way currently, but the idea is you can like freely kind of switch it around uh, between yourself and different party members. Right now it's just on a cooldown. Okay, so I'm going to use this on myself, and what effect are we going to see right now? So it'll bless your weapon as it is appropriately named, and um, while that oh, is... No, oh, you gave it to Bucky's me! Weapon. Yep, yes, yep. So, shoot! So that means if, if Bucky were to attack an enemy, that he would return mana per hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll show that off when we get into the But it's only okay. weapon combos. 
Yeah. Okay, got it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, I see also we have here, uh, let's go to Judgment. We have Judgment. We saw a version of this in the past. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, so Judgment's, cool. we since changed Judgment's. Now it's a lot longer of a cast. Um, but effectively, it's similar where you can either cast it on an enemy to do a huge portion of damage, or you can cast it on an ally to do a huge heal. So it's kind of a big okay. charged nuke. And, and, yeah. Nice. You want to do some damage oh, yeah, to yourself here? Let me show that off. Yeah. We've juiced this Let's one up see. a bit. Yeah. It has received the juicing. Or, I'm sorry, apologies. Uh, the juice. Box. The juice box. <laughs> the juice box, thank you. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Oh, yeah. Okay, super cool. Super so, cool. not as big as Deliverance when they're fully charged Deliverance to low health, but it's still pretty big, and, it, and it, even if they're high, it'll heal for the same amount, so it's kind of... Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, what's this one? What's Communal Restoration? Um, another one that's a returning, uh, another familiar, returning, yeah. familiar cleric spell is, uh, this one's been changed a little bit too, but it's mostly the same. It's still a party based heal. Um, it's really your only party based heal that doesn't have any proximity unless like they're really far, but it, it extends pretty far to all party members. It does a direct heal, but it also has a hot component. So it's like, or again, not super responsive, but it's very good value. Um, especially in like an eight person group. Yeah, it's also okay. giving some temporary hit points, you can see, I think, in the UI. Yep. A little bit of temp HP. Oh, let's see where that is. Where is that at? It should be a little uh, blue bar overlay on the uh, health bars. See that little, this little portion oh, of temp health there? Oh, yeah. yeah, I see once that. The, okay, cool, so yeah. this can overcast. Exactly, yeah, once the effect expires, too, the temp health will go away. So if it wasn't, um, you know, you weren't damaged in the time, then it's not effective healing. It feels like... Perhaps the the instant health received from this might be a little low. Is that the intent? Or? It is a little low. And, I mean, this obviously all these things are kind of in early iterations. Yes. Nothing super yes. balanced. Things are kind of balanced. But, like, for this one, it's like, okay, the value is, one, you don't have to worry about positioning of your team. It just hits everybody. And if in, in an eight-person group, that kind of adds up yeah. a lot, plus the hot effect and all the other stuff going on. Cool. Super cool. All right, what's this next one we have? Consecrating Wave. This one's pretty sweet. So this one's a frontal cone heal. So you don't have you don't need a target for this one. You can just cast it and it'll shoot it forward based on which way you're looking. And it'll heal everyone it hits, all allies, and then it'll also damage enemies it hits too. So it has a uh, dual purpose as well. It's AoE damage in. Wow, that's cool. That looks yeah. great. In contrast to uh, communal restoration, this one's a bit more powerful. Um, also does damage um so that's kind of the trade-offs is you, you have to position you know it costs you in your positioning but then it's in exchange for a bit more power something we nice. talked about doing i don't think i've done yet was making it uh split between all the targets hit so if you hit a lot of targets it'll do less and like if you hit half enemies half allies it'll split the total throughput but we haven't i don't think we've done that part yet very cool very cool all right talk to me a little bit about divine flare yeah, this one is another um, kind of what I refer to as like action heals, Con consecrating wave and divine flare. They're they're heals that you have to aim in world. Um, so this is this one. If you put it on the ground, it's like a delayed AOE. Um, if you want to try that on Bucky or something, and after Bucky, you look like you need some health. I'm dying. <laughs> All right, here, let me help you. Oh, oh see, God. you gotta get in it. <laughs> Oh, oh, I missed it. oh, that's so good. So what's interesting oh, about that one is um it's all it would also split amongst targets, so I got a bigger heal there because Bucky didn't make it in time. Um it is kind of a funny little like mind game going there of oh I'm gonna jump in there, but it's at the expense yeah. of his health because I'm stealing it. Uh, uh tanks uh, only please in this uh yeah. we get these trash mages out. The more uh, social um conflict <laughs> dynamics going on. Okay. <laughs> Name it again. I like the uh Excuse me. Um, had to cough for a second. Um, I like the uh, delayed functionality in that ability. I think that's super cool, especially for an AoE skill. Um, and telegraphing the location, obviously, with the ground-based decal uh, for the party is Definitely super a fun. Very especially a weird. One. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's super cool. Um, all right, awesome. Uh, let's talk a little bit about barrier. Yeah, so barrier is the classic kind of shield spell you'd expect to see from a healer kit. So 
but the, with the tw added twist that um, you have to sacrifice a bit of your own health as the healer to cast it. So it doesn't actually use mana, I don't think. It just you sacrifice a portion of your health to directly give to another player for a time. Okay, I like that. That's cool. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And it's a clear delineation, obviously, in the in the uh, style of the shield bubble, so that you can <clears throat> distinguish between you know other bubble types, right? Like the mage's bubble. Yeah, we can make cool. a comparison. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, here you go. Ah, oh, your bubble brothers. <laughs> Do you guys bounce off of each other? Bubble pals. <laughs> yeah, bubble, bubble yeah, we buddies. just got bubble physics in, yeah. Boy, yeah. Bubble buddies. <laughs> Here, have some help. Okay, um, let's talk a little bit about the Chains of Restraint. Yeah, this one's pretty similar to what it was before. Um, it does damage over time, so it's a really good, it's, it's pretty much the primary AoE damage tool of the Cleric, um, which isn't really the primary role of the Cleric, um, but, you know, they get some. And it also applies stagger, so it kind of provides some offensive support. Um, stagger, for example, synergizes very well with some tank abilities, which um, what it effectively does is um, extends the duration of a trip, which is which is a knockdown. Um, so if you've like stacked up a bunch of stagger on an enemy and then trip them, they spend more time hard succeed than if they hadn't been staggered at all. Very cool. And obviously, <clears throat> as we said, guys. Um, just so you're aware, when it comes to the development of the abilities, um, you know, there is a specific pipeline that includes uh, ideation into uh, the bare bones kind of standing up of the functionality with design, and then it moves to uh, animation to provide final animation sets, and then it moves to uh, visual effects, and then it moves to audio effects, um, and visual effects and audio effects that tend to be at the end of that pipeline um, are usually the things that get, uh, <clears throat> that still need works, in, that are still heavily works in progress. So um, you're seeing the visual effects now, but obviously that will change uh, in the future. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Defiant Light. Yes, yeah, so this one's a uh, really good tool for saving someone who's in danger of dying. It's very powerful. I'm in danger. Yeah. Which one? Uh, okay. So, uh, it, it applies first of all it applies a huge uh, heal over time to the target but if they die while the heal over time is in effect um it'll prevent their death and heal them for a flat amount and dispel yeah. itself so it's kind of like a oh oh, <laughs> oh wow <laughs> i don't think it works with nuke but... <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's funny so just sorry. age planted <laughs> um you said that it would keep you alive <laughs> I'm we'll not. see if it actually works in action. We'll use it in, in action, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm moments. sorry. I just wanted to... I, you said, it'll keep you alive. So the first thing that came to mind is, hey, let me kill you the to entry. demonstrate. Yes, yeah, so it is. It, uh, if, if that had happened and that was real damage, um, it would he would have prevented the death, the effect would be removed, and then he would receive a heal up to like 25% of his HP. Awesome. I don't trust okay, this cleric. Cool. <laughs> just go alone and tread. <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, Defiant Light. Not as defiant as we thought it would be, but hopefully it will be uh, when we get into combat. Okay, Healing Touch. Talk to me a little bit about this. Uh, that's a that's a melee heal, basically. You, you have to be up next to your target, um, but it is an instant cast, and it's a pretty fat heal. Uh, so, it, again, it's kind of like Consecrating Wave. Um, it's being costed more on its positioning, um, but rewards... Uh, you know, maybe if some of our more melee built clerics would really want to lean into this um, because they, they have that positioning advantage for it. Oh, there you go. Okay. See, look at that. What I taketh, I giveth. There you are. Have health. This one combos really nicely, too, with the uh, the next ability, the um, Wings of Salvation, because it'll let Ooh. you get into melee and then you can follow it up with a uh, healing touch on if they're low. Yeah, this is essentially right. an ally gap closer. Um, you. So this is you must have an ally targeted, and yep. and definition of an ally is going to be any non-combatant player, uh, and non-mob NPC. Correct. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, it's missing. I think it's missing audio effects. Let's see. Let me see. Oh um, no, yeah. there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, the okay, phoenix. Wait. We got to give it the, the full phoenix sound. Hold on. Your signature phoenix ability. Oh, the audio might be a little bit bugged, but that's okay. As we said, all things are worked in progress. Nice. There it is. Try the one, too, with the uh, healing touch follow-up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to T into shift T. Got it. 
Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. There you go. Combo. What if I T while flashing and then shift T? Hold on. Wait oh, a I haven't even tried that. Oh my god. Pro are about to come break. Crapping. Go, wait, hold on. Oh, that worked. It all happened so fast. I can't even see. <laughs> Super healing. <laughs> that sort of worked. I had to use like two hands. <laughs> okay, cool. Like top tier game. So we got, we got Wings of Salvation. And then I'm looking here. Uh, we have Smite, Condemn, and Divine Infusion. Talk to, we can't show Smite or Condemn. We'll use those on enemies here in a second. But let's talk about Divine Infusion. And this one is a bigger topic. Yeah, so... Um... We'll talk about the class resource and then how this plays into it. Um, you'll notice if you look at the top left, there are now three resource bars for the cleric. Um, and that third one you might have seen going up and down as he's uh, been, as Steven's been healing. Um, but this resource re regenerates based on how much healing and damage you've been doing over the last 10 seconds. So the more radiant damage and the more you're healing, and it's only effective healing, so you can't overheal for this. Um, but the more you're doing that, the faster this resource will build up. And the way you spend this resource is um, on an ability called Divine Infusion. Um, and what this is, is uh, if you have enough resource to complete the cast of a spell, um, you can use this during the cast of a spell and it will auto-complete that spell. I've never actually seen a mechanic like this in a game before. It was a pretty cool idea that came up across the uh, design time. Yeah, very cool. Um, okay, so essentially... I am going to build up some of the um, <clears throat> unique energy, <clears throat> and I'm going to do that by healing Bucky, and then I am going to use a long cast ability, and I'm going to attempt to use Divine Infusion to complete that cast sooner uh, than normally would be possible. And just to be clear, if I were not to, let's say, use that ability, then I would have a passive benefit uh, for my character while that energy is maintained that amplifies some spell efficacy as a healer. Yep. Cool. Okay. So let me try to get some of this stuff. Whoops. Oh, I got one off of that. Okay. So it's gradually earning it over time. Yeah. Like when, when you heal, it kind of gives you some generation of this resource. Then it kind of rewards you the actual resource over time. So you can see it kind okay. of filling in your bar. Yeah, we, we've been referring to this as like a heat mechanic, right? So it's not like a direct instant translation of you heal this much and you get this resource immediately. It's 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 like ramping up your region and um, build up rate. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, I'm going to use Judgment and then I'm going to pop my Divine Infusion. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> I don't Shift think it would one. work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look very at that. Nice and it consumes some of that of it. Oh, okay, very cool. Yeah, I was able cool. to do two. I like that. Another oh shit button. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, Cleric, this version of the Cleric has a lot of tools in its kit. Uh, just to set expectations, you know, that not any given Cleric build would put probably have all of these things um you would spec into certain ones uh most likely we're still working that out awesome okay so let's take a look then at some of those more offensive abilities let us perhaps find a potential target here got a group of minotaurs right up here use smite and condemn you think we can peel just one of them off uh we could try i could drop Wait, let one me actually heal you up. heal me yeah Tried to get sleep the other two actually too. Oh, and let me set my cooldowns so that I'm not cheating too much. Back to standard. Want to sleep the back two tread, and I'll grapple the front one. Sure. All right, and then I'm gonna use. <clears throat> what is smite first before we do that? What is smite? Um, smite's just a. Well. It, you can use it in two different ways, as is a running theme with a lot of our abilities, but uh, you can use it from a range, and it, it'll have a cast time and just do damage to the target. Um, and if you use it in melee, it's an instant cast. So again, one of those things that you get a little more benefit for if you're up front. Okay, so um, it's going to apply a stack of burning and deal instant damage <clears throat> to the target. Okay, and then just real quick, Condemn is a straight up just stun? Correct. Yep. Casted stun. All right, very cool. Okay, 
So, in that case, let me start by casting Judgment on it, perhaps. Okay. While you prepare to sleep those two rain collars. Okay. Okay, Go. ready? Let's casting Go. Judgment. Okay, right now you're good, Tank, if you want to grab it. Good luck. All right. Oh, Smite, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's very cool. How you doing over there? Oh, Jim Dredd's taking some health. Very cool. Okay. Get the hang of this. <laughs> oh, I noticed that on this wand, I'm getting some health back a little bit. This has some minimal lifesteal or something? Yeah, yeah I think it's the one from Carfin. It's like a Carfin wand, yeah. Nice. Very cool. A little passive life, uh, life leech. Very cool. All right, so I noticed that we have a quest in this area. Or what is this? This is not a quest. This is a story arc. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to try and go through this area, and we're looking for, I think, the first part of the quest is a bag. You're on the quest, right, Stephen? Looking for a backpack? Yes, I am on the quest. So let me just... Here, why don't we just stand here real quick up near the bridge. I just want to get a look at this. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, that does look really cool. It's an old abandoned ruin. Yeah, this is just a beautiful area. I mean, it's, you know, I love what the environment team has done. The ruins, the 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 god rays, everything. Great job here. So what, what are we doing next? What is uh, this quest? Obviously, some bandits have been expelled from the area, and there's some minotaurs and whatnot. What are we doing here? Yeah, so we're kind of coordinating with one of the bandit leaders, so I think we're going to have to find his bag to uh, go meet with, meet up with him. I think that's the plan. we got to fight through some minotaurs first. Okay, all right, cool. I got your back. You just, you do your thing, chicken wing, and I got you. we got a war grizz, too. I brought some friends. Uh... <laughs> oh, no, no, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I got you. The bear's looking at me. Oh, he's charging. <laughs> oh, he mauled you. He knocked. Did he knock you down? Yeah, I got knocked over a little bit. I can knock him down too. Get him. Nice, very nice ball lightning. Okay, Trad, doing some deeps. I can help you out with the deeps. This brain collar is just on you. Well, it knows who the real threat in the party yeah. is, Bucky. Yes, he's like, I'm the only healer. This Chris has so much health. Oh, I'm dying. Here we go. Oh, nice. Flash gear. I got you. Flash gear. <laughs> Flash gear. Look at that. Maximum efficacy on nice. the... Uh, deliverance. On the deliverance. Oh, my God. There's a bear! Oh no! Sleeping it. Nice. Don't don't hit that bear. We're good. These bears have so much health. Okay, mana consumption's not too bad so far with the kid. Of course, as you guys all know, oh god, it's standing. It's sensing you. It can smell the chocolate in your pocket. He's <laughs> like, oh, what's that? <laughs> the mana oh. consumption is not too bad. Now, obviously, I know we haven't gone through really a balance pass between mana consumption and cooldowns and health return. So, if you, as you guys are watching, just keep that in mind. You know, this is work in progress. We're really trying to stand up the core functionality of the kit um, and and getting its play style to represent the role, right? Especially within synergy of the Holy Trinity. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, get, you handled that uh, that grouping pretty well. Thank you, thank you. Got some good coordination there. Mm. We almost got him. Let's All see. right, there we go. So, oh yeah, there's two more in here. 
Just bringing them over to you. You know, I don't want my tank to have to run so much, right? Thank you, yes, I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Or should I be like one of those other tanks, like, you touch the mobs, you take it. How dare you? <laughs> don't you ever get out of my party! <laughs> Those types of uh, those types of tanks, and I know they're out there, <laughs> but if you are forcing someone else in the party to heal, it's because you're not keeping a pace. Ooh. Ooh. True. Ooh, Facts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very true. This is a nice little area. Okay, we're just taking a seat here. Yeah, you know, just resting up, getting my mana back. Taking in the views. <laughs> Very nice. The views of the... So, okay. Talk... <laughs> The views of the shed. I was looking behind me. I'm looking oh. behind me. I don't just look at a shed and say views, but oh, you guys are out of okay, control. So, okay. <laughs> so talk to me a little bit about UI versus action healing, right? Obviously, uh, I have mained healers in the past. One of the things I enjoy between the predictive nature of healing and the reactive nature of it is it, you know, it's very two different tempos, and I like both of them, right? If I if I have to, um, you know, kind of oh, wait, hold on. Before I get into this, what is this? This is a backpack. Is that a splint bag? I, I don't. I don't touch bags that I don't own. Does one of you? One of you guys want to? Okay, should I do it? Will it update? Well, it'll update my the story arc for everyone in the area, right? I think so. If somebody can find it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, got it. Let's see. Splint bag see. must be nearby. Does it update for me? I don't know. Did you try clicking it. Okay, I will say... Oh, it did. It just updated for me. Okay, okay gotcha. Cool. All right, there we go. And as you guys know, obviously, UI is very work in progress. We're still working on this. Um, okay, so uh, predictive versus kind of reactive healing. Um, <coughs> I like both, right? If I love the... <coughs> excuse me. I like the ability for me to kind of have control over the engagement and, and you know, predict where I'm going to need to, this is a beautiful view, where I'm going to need to um, to heal, but I also like the kind of whack-a-mole gameplay where I'm, you know, interfacing with my, oh, and let me see if I can move this, actually, I want to, as a healer, I tend to have my, my bar a little bit closer, and do mm -hmm. I move anything else, hold on, I'll move my health plate, yeah, I feel like go. when I start a new fight, I tend to be a lot more like reactive because I'm not used to the damage patterns as much as a healer. But then as you kind of get more familiar and you kind of know what to expect, you can start being a lot more predictive, which can certainly uh, improve your performance. And it's good to have tools for both in, in any kit. Oh yeah, for sure. Totally agree. Um, I see Splint across the way. Oh, is he up there, up on that tower? Yeah. I see this rope he climbed up with maybe. <laughs> Am I supposed to be killing? Are we killing him or are we talking? No, to him? I think we're. we're, we're to oh, we're yeah, getting a chest key. Yeah, we're gonna coordinate with him. He he wants to get these minotaurs out of the uh, bandit camp, so we have to work work with the enemy a little bit here. Okay, so we're I going think, down on those yeah, like dry wanna, riverbed. Yeah, I don't want to go through the front entrance. There's like a ton of minotaurs there, so I think we should try and fight through this way. Maybe we got a wolf. All right. Oh, okay. A little wolf. A little baby wolf. Oh my gosh, you dodged my cat. Uh, a... What about you, Trad? What do you like about? Predictive or reactive? I mean, I definitely like the more tools you give me, the better, right? Um, I think we'll uh, we'll have different specs that lean one way or the other um, for all kinds of different clerics. You know, obviously, as everyone knows, um, our class system will, you know, you'll be able to like uh, pick your class based on uh, primary and sub archetype, um, and different classes will lean into different directions some will be more predictive and when we say predictive like we're usually talking like um like hots and stuff are going to be a lot more uh predictive healers or, or like pre-shielding you know yeah pre-shielding yeah. that kind of thing whereas like reactive is going to be a lot more like you know, instant heals that might um you know be less efficient but more adaptable to certain situations heal me up steven I got you. you got me. I got you. You're getting, that, got you're getting that full deliverance value there. I, I think there's a bug on my targeting. I think I'm, I'm like, the target switches off of you for some reason. Oh, okay. Uh, my bad. Well, I see you. You're doing, you're throwing in some condemns there, weren't you? You were stunning the, uh... Shh, yeah, I was doing a little bit of, you know... Yeah. I was trying nice. to help out. That's good. That's, I like when healers can, uh, help with the DPS sure. and the healings light. Do we want to grab these guys? I was not going to go I... this way, but okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, right. We, we can okay, do it. We just, can do it. Just sleep the back. No, no, we got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, back up a couple of them. Sleep, 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 sleep
Oh, sleep. well done. Huge well sleep. Done. <laughs> I was yeah, gonna sneak around, but you know we can just blast no, no. to the front door. Why not? We need to show off our ability. Yes. Uh, maybe sleep again. Oh, nope, nope. Sleep has a uh, decent seconds. cooldown. Yeah, ten seconds. Are you doing okay. some good, good, good kiting? Trying I to... am totally kiting these guys. I got, I got a couple. I got three of them, I think. All right, sleep. Yeah, healer, healers will be generating threat, right? Like, I see they're noticing you're healing, so they're going after you. It's taking me a bit of effort to uh, get them off you. I believe in you. Let's see if I can sleep the, or stun that guy. Drink my last okay. health potion. All right, I got you. I got Heels you. Coming. Two seconds for the next CC. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can see right, through the other two healers. Two of them. Yep. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I give you blessed weapons too, so you can get some mana back. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was running low. Left with that. <laughs> Whew. All right. Look at that. Easy peasy lemon it wasn't squeezy. Even close. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Any other types of sayings we want to add to that uh, Not even close, baby. Yes, thank you. <laughs> great job, great job. Yeah, well done. I didn't even get to do my, like, Wings of Salvation jump to and boom! Oh, very good. Look at that. Such a good combo. It's clean, so, clean, clean kill. Yeah, we can just go, you know, we were going to sneak around. Actually, yeah. let's do sneak around. I, I want to sneak around. Oh, I, like that yeah. <laughs> I think. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Wait, wait, there's okay, more. There's more, there's more There's more wolves. Right, one at a time, one step at a time here. Don't don't do anything after. I get all crazy oh. here. No, we're good. We're good. Hey, let me just sleep this wolf over here. Or not sleep, but uh, just put him down. Oops, that was an accident. That's an F. <laughs> I think I just got another wolf spawn too. You guys like this okay, there we go. That's not too bad. All right, come down this way. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah. The side entrance. We didn't have to do any of that. Oh. <laughs> but we did. Farming. But then did how we... else would we not... How else would True. we farm? Yeah. Yeah, Shred. Come on, bro. Maybe. You got some loot, maybe. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so like a little back entrance. All right. I yeah, see. let's get around the All main right. gate. I think we can sneak around we these guys, We should be careful. Too. Yeah, we should be careful in this area, though, because we might get aggro. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this... I, I feel like we can... Uh, probably pull a little bit extra and see just how much we can tax this healer. What do you guys think? All right. I'll pull these three up here and maybe that fourth one. All right. There Let's you go. do it. A little bit of uh, potential heals. Oh, God. There's a wolf. Wolf on me. Okay. Wolf on oh, you. Oh, morph through the gate. Oh, this is okay, going to be good. I'm going to stun, I'm gonna stun the wolf. Nice. nice. Drop the wolf first. I'm taking some heals. Oh. Oh, wreck that wolf. Alright, I've got... What are we doing next? I'm okay. gonna get these, I'll get aggro on these fire, guys. Fork is fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to AoE if you can. Oh. Oh. AoE it all down. Big AoE. I'm gonna do a trip. I'm doing a delayed heal. Yes, maximum AoE power! Wizard time. Let's are you go. doing the, uh, the wave uh, attack too? Yeah. Yes. That one's so good. There's a delayed heal. Nice. I'm getting Mac all the value out of it. Try to get out. Some judgment. Okay. Throwing a sleep out. Nice, we got it. Easy. That was super easy. Either that or I'm just a literal god of a healer. Okay, probably isn't. <laughs> no, you're doing good. Oh, you're yeah. using the full kit. Thank you. Here, have a barrier. <laughs> that compliment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So I think we just got to go up through shop team here. Yeah, great well job. Done. Great job. I have like one more. We need to have a discussion with uh, world design for this population. I mean, it's just it's not challenging enough. Yep. Yeah, double it. A few hundred yeah. minotaurs in here. Double it. Respawn rate, 10 seconds. Here, I'll do another, <laughs> another group here. Oh yeah, let's do that. Here, let's grab Leap. these guys. Don't, don't break. If I can grab that oh, guy. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I, I just trust. I trust now. Oh, no. 
Yeah, just trust. You're good. I have full faith in my healer. I bought some additional mobs. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. We're getting a little cocky here. He's, no, no, we're good. He uh, flew too close to the sun. Two seconds on sleep. Okay. okay we, all right, sleep coming out now. All right, all right. I think, uh... Hold on now, now. That's nice. All right, there we go. Oh, okay. Back up. Okay, helping myself. Oh, yeah, they're on you. I'm trying to get them off you. Oh, my God. I'm dying. Where are you? I'm running a little bit. I think, uh, I think they're off you. Okay, I'm now healing you again. I need some huge heals. Oh, I'm using my uh, tank cooldown. Let's take, I, I'm using the divine again. infusion. Oh, yes. Perfect. You're still on you. I'm healing myself. My mana is definitely going down. We got this. We're almost going to kill some. Come on. Uh, let me put down these chains. I'm healing myself again. Again, stay on the rain collar or the left rain collar, I guess. Okay, I'll stay on a rain collar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stun this rain. other rain collar. We got it, we got it now. I am completely oom. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it. We did it. We did it. I'm running. I'm running. I'll do the killing blow on this guy. I'm running. Wait, what are you running for? Okay. I was at 60 health, and they're still. Okay, we got it. We got it. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oof. Oof. Here, have this hot. That was epic. That was pretty epic. Got some good pulls that here. A, that, was, that was pretty fun. That was actually pretty fun. I enjoyed that as a healer. That was a oh shit moment, and there were yeah. many oh shit buttons for me to press. We were talking about this mana not being balanced, but I think that was pretty good. Like you ran out of mana yeah. just right at the end of that fight. Like, pretty good. Good first that pass. Is true. They're not, it's not too bad. Now we're going to talk to Splinter. Pro gamers. <laughs> oh gosh, dude. See, and everybody says I am a crazy player. There's just not, you know. Oh, okay. Cly on top of this. Tent <laughs> here. Okay, we're good. This guy's kind of cool. What is he doing? Hello, Splint. friend. Splint. Splint, talk to me. Nobody mentioned locking horns with minotaurs. Oh, okay. I need. We need to go unlock a chest. He's not budging. Here, take the key. All right, I've gotten the key. Okay, nice. I think the chest is in the main building somewhere. Right, so yeah, let's go down here. Do you let's want to? Uh, to should we? Uh, should even rest a little bit? You're still a uh, pretty low on mana. Um, I would be down to rest. Well, we should probably go this way. I right, actually, yeah, I guess I think we'll probably run through respawns. here for a little bit. Yeah. yeah, let's get inside the building. Where are we going? Where are we going? Inside the building here. Right. Follow me. Oh, we, oh, that's right. We don't really even need to. Let's see if we can just. Since we cleared this whole area, I wonder if we can... Yeah, I don't think there's anyone yeah. in here. I think we got to go down in this little area. Oh, oh down here. Nice dark in, in, here. The, okay. in the crypts. Secret basement. All right. Let me give us some light. Hold on. I got I to gotta give us some light. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Trad's got some good... <laughs> yeah, Follow nice. the light. Follow the light. Oh. Here it is. Ooh. <laughs> So we're working together with Who's Splint, this? the bandit leader. Wait, hold on. I wonder what happens if I put this shield on you while you have your shield on. Uh, I Double got, shield. Ooh. I got <laughs> seconds on Double that. shield. Double shield. <laughs> Switching out of the chest. Hey, that was cool. It let it let loose this massive um, explosion. What did that do? I think we're working together with Splint to activate this to ancient chest turtles? to... Oh, okay. I think we're awakening some old spirits in this place to try to drive out the Minotaur. I think that's the plan here. Oh, this so, is beautiful. There's a stairway over here. We, yeah. What's the next part of the quest? We have to light the, light the signal fire? Light the brazier? I'm running up Oh wait, we lost this you. area. Uh-oh. Where'd you guys go? <laughs> Steven? Oh, there you are. Look, to your left. There. Where? Over here. Oh. Hey, how do I get over there? Oh, actually, yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm gonna go upstairs even more over here. Oh, nice. This is beautiful. Environment did a great job with this. Zachary and um, Tristan and... Yeah, it looks really great. Brenda, it's cool to explore. I, did a great job. Beautiful. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, there it is. Nice. Well, this was a cool uh, little 
incursion into oh look at this all the zombies we have li lit the beacon and the zombies have overtaken the minotaurs oh, they're still minotaur corpses god dude we missed the bloodshed i think we did Ooh. all the work yeah, yeah true to be honest these zombies shouldn't get any credit that's super cool very cool well guys i hope you all enjoyed this uh brief look at the update well not brief but look <laughs> at the update of the cleric archetype and what you'll be expecting in alpha 2 obviously your feedback is incredibly important to us please keep in mind everything is a work in progress um and we use your feedback as part of our iteration process so if you can give us your thoughts and what you enjoyed what you thought could be done better um in the YouTube video or in Twitch or everywhere else, um, we will go through that and we will take a look. But we have enjoyed uh, showing this, Bucky and Trad. Thank you guys for joining me. Very cool, very fun. And uh, I thought you guys pleasure. did a great job. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for having us, GG. All right, we'll see you guys back on stream. I'm going in. Ah! No! <laughs> wait, let me jump to you. Let me jump to you. How do I... Come here. Come here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. There it is. Boom! Oh, oh yeah. Let's that get was these zombies. Great. Bye, guys. Out of control. <laughs>